So we have prone single leg frog lifts, okay? So this is for hip <coughs> internal rotation, okay? So the base position is on your stomach with one leg abducted, okay? So it looks like this, on your stomach, one leg totally straight, one leg abducted. Your knee should be perpendicular to your spine, uh, your trunk, not your spine, well, your spine too. And your knee should be at 90 degrees. Then support your head, flex your foot. So your head's gonna be like this, but I'm gonna keep it up just so I can look at the camera and whoever is watching this. Then you're gonna push your knee down into the ground and then lift your shin up as high as it'll get. Just like that. Okay, and if you want to make it harder, you can add an ankle weight. This shouldn't be insanely strenuous. This shouldn't be incredibly difficult, but it's a good prep for anything that requires hip flexion and extension. Extension is where you're using more internal rotation. So Anytime you do hip flexion, you are also going to be doing hip extension at the same time, the same time in order, right after hip flexion. When you're squatting and you're on your way down, that's hip external rotation. When you're on your way up, that's hip internal rotation. Okay, so the whole knees out cue is a little bit too aggressive and might teach people to shove their femurs into their hip sockets in a way that's not ideal and may no longer be producing the optimal force, okay? So ideally start with that on your weaker side or more limited side and then do the other side, okay? That's it.